Hi, welcome to week two. This week we'll be talking about spirituality as a source of creative inspiration. And so I thought that we'd come to the art gallery, the Welch Gallery at Georgia State University, and look at some of the works that speak to spirituality as informing artists' practice. This week's readings, Toyota, for example, talks about the hands as being a symbol of creativity and of making an art, and of feminine spirituality as being an important part of that process. Corbett talks about spirituality in the sense that for an artist, the act of creating may be a numinous experience, a spiritual experience. Uh, and so as we look at any artist's creation, we think about spirituality as a component of inspiration. Ferris Thompson and Richards talk about West African traditions and how uh, artists consider themselves to be in communion with the divine as they're creating. From Ferris Thompson's point of view, objects that are about religion and spirituality, and Richard speaks about the blacksmith, about those who work with metals, particularly gold, as being particularly close to experiences with, with the divine. So here we are in the gallery, and we'll take a gallery walk and see the work of some of these artists. Now, the name of the exhibit is Transcultural Identities. And I think that in doing this work, the artists have been thinking about themselves, about the self, and about what it means to be someone who thinks about coming from um, another country or the various aspects of uh, what what that person's identity is. And if we think the way that Jung talks about the self, the self is related to uh, the, uh, the unconscious. Uh, it's integrating the unconscious, integrating what comes from the unconscious. And Jung also, also talks about the unconscious in this sense as being an aspect of the divine. So here we're looking at the work of Anu Matthews, who creates reticular uh, images her dialogue is about the, the identities of people who work in call centers in India, and she's comparing the persona of, a, of an individual working in an urban environment in the call center, and also the persona of that individual at home in the village, the person who, who participates in what's traditional uh, and what may be ritual in that village. Let's look at another of uh, Matthew's images. So we see this individual's persona as community member in a small village and as uh, a modern uh, person who's working in a call center who has another identity. As we continue our gallery walk, um, we come to some of the work that I created over a period of four or five years, for me, the question of identity had to do with understanding some of the ritual practices and traditions of my ancestors of African descent, practices that were lost to me in the Afro-Atlantic slave trade, but were learned again as I worked in Mexico in communities of African and North American indigenous descent. And so as you look at these photographs, you'll see that I'm holding objects, and these are objects that are significant uh, symbolically to a ritual that's called Olympia, or an energetic cleansing. And so I photographed my body together with the objects, feeling that my body then is the location of the ritual. And as I participated in this ritual space, making the self-portraits, this was what Corbett would call a numinous experience for me. I was, felt that I was taken to another place, and in that space, gained a better understanding of who I am and who my ancestors were and what their traditions and spiritual practices may have been. This last image 
is about what's called la sombra, or the shadow, and that's the soul of a person, the aspect of a person that may linger a bit after death, but then uh, will move on to the other world. And that aspect of a person is also related to how people from the area think about illness and health and this idea of this la sombra informs their practices related to healing. Okay, as we keep moving with our gallery walk, we come to the work of Priya Kumbhu, and she juxtaposes images of symbols that have to do with her identity in her country of origin as well as her identity in the United States. And so she moved to the United States when she was 13 years old and speaks of feeling at times disjointed, at times part of one culture and at times part of the other culture. And so she beautifully juxtaposes objects related to traditional life in her, in her country of origin and her new life in the United States. And now we'll move to an installation piece by the artist that is an oversized shopping bag and it speaks to the issue of translocation and movement and identity and understanding of who the self is and what the meaning for that is in an individual's life. 